Hello guys, this is a brief tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Elements 10. So in this video, I'm just going to show you some of the basics. Um, so to open your Adobe Premiere, click on your um, thing of it down here. Then um, click New Project or Open Project. And then what you want to do is you want to name it. And this will just be your project. So you're not just going to want to quit this and then try and upload it to YouTube because you won't be able to upload it to YouTube. So I'm just going to name this Tutorial. I don't know if I spelled that right. Um, yeah. So, so I just saved the project. And so now I'm going to get some media. So, um, so to get your media, you click the little button up here above where your media will go. You click get media and then um, I click from files and folders but there's also um, you could do elements organizer um, an, a DV camcorder, HDV camcorder and so on but um, so I'm just gonna do this and I'll upload a little video um, how about this okay so now that I've uploaded that it should appear in here and if you wanna trim it what you should do is you should double click on it and then it will come up in a box and um, down here so you can play it by pressing the play button so it's pretty long but to trim if you want it so you take this tab and you drag it to the desired place so I'm gonna go right there and then to the ending one you can bring it down here I'm gonna go right there and then um, then you just press the little X up here there and there's your shot and um, here down here this is where you drag all your videos um, and so right now I'm using a timeline because you can right click on the videos and um, do effects but you can also use the scene line option which is the tabs are right there to choose that says scene line that says timeline you can click on scene line and then you just drag your video in like so like that and then it will just keep wanting you to drag stuff in or you can just stick to timeline and it's already there because um, because uh, I dragged it into the scene line but um and since that's pretty small I'm gonna make it longer by um, going to this um, this thing with the little window and the big window take this knob I'm gonna drag it like that Okay, so now it's not as small. And so, um, to do slow mo, what you do is you right is you right click on it, and then you go up to time stretch if you can see that, and it will come up with a little box right there. And so, say I want it in fast motion. Um, that was at 100%, so that's just normal speed. I'm gonna do 200%, and so that will make it fast motion, or you can make it slow motion by doing 50% or 1% or so on and also if you want to reverse it to put it in reverse so that the biker is going backwards in this case you can click that button but so I'm gonna stick with 200% here just for some fun um, I don't know actually let's do 100 just to keep it simple okay so there's your um, uh, time stretch or slow-mo and reverse speed and maintain auto pitch I don't know what that means but <laughs> um, also to split the clip you can um, you click that little scissors down there I'm not gonna do it cuz I don't feel like splitting it here you can export a, a like a, a snapshot of the of what you have on your big monitor right now but I'm not going to do that, but that's kind of, I'll do a tutorial later on how to do still frames, but this is one of the steps, but we won't go over that right now. Um, so, so now I'll say uh, I want to add some effects. I, I click on the video, and I go up to edit right there, and I can go to effects, and so say I want, oh, that one looks cool, um, but no, I'm going to do, um, Let's do like um let's find um let's do like that, okay? This'll be fun. 
and so then then you click on it and press apply and so now it's all weird with its animation if you can tell um and uh it doesn't play too well usually with um with the uh effects the more effects you add the worse the playback gets on the editing software but once you um render it which will be the next thing i show um it's totally fine um so now so i'm done with this video now and so i'll go to there are a couple um tabs up here there's project which is where all your media is there's edit which is the one i'm on right now there's disk menus for like if you want to uh come on come on um so like say you're making a movie like this so you can pick like disk menus and then there's the share button so i'm gonna do computer because that's just the easiest for me and so so here you get to name it and you get to do where it is so if you can read that i'm gonna name it um oh, come on okay um i'm gonna name it tutorial <laughs> again i don't know if i spelled that right um so uh tutorial good because um then i press save um down here Click save and it will come up with a bar that's saying rendering media right there and then it will progress um, well it will show the project progress um, the longer your video is the longer it will take um, don't worry about how long it takes it usually takes a pretty long time like with this it's like five seconds long and it's taking pretty long but um so the longer your clip is or your movie is the longer that will take so just be patient and I'll get back to you after that is done okay so it's been about I'd say three minutes and it says save completed or save complete um, your video has been successfully saved so now I'll go down and click done and then I'll just click the X out of here because it's saved and it will ask me do you want to save the changes you don't need to because it's already rendered um, so that was how to use Adobe Premiere Elements 10. Bye. Subscribe.